click OK. Let me save the job. So I can check the lines. Go to list and click on lines. Attribute format, radius format, attribute format. And you can see the number of lines, which means the number of members, length, etc. Now uh, we will mesh the geometry using the mesh tool. So let us do the meshing. For meshing in the main menu under preprocessor use the meshing menu and then use the mesh tool. Click on mesh tool. The mesh tool window is now displayed. You can uh, place the window where it is feasible for you. Find the material properties, real constant and element type etc. As we are having uh, only one material property and only uh, one element type so let me select only the global so that whatever I will assign it will be assigned globally click on set as we have defined only one link element material number only one we have defined only one material and real constant we have defined only real one real constant click OK click on set and then pick all the number of element divisions should be one in examples other than trusses we would like uh, to have more divisions but in this specific case we would like to only have one division click OK now make sure that in mesh lines is selected and then click on mesh mesh lines pick all and now these are our meshed lines these uh, meshed lines uh, report can be seen here in the output window and here you can see the number of lines meshed 11 node number 7 and maximum element number 11 it means the lines are meshed successfully let me hide that such report can also be generated from the utility menu click on list and then click on elements nodes plus attributes if you see this list, it can uh, it denotes you that the element one has material type one and is connected to node one and two. The first column is of element number, second is of material, third is of material type, and this last one is nodes. Remember that the numbering of these nodes, the order of the numbers are not important. For example, this uh, is element is between 1 and 2. If the element is between 2 and 1, these are 1 and the same thing. Let me close it. Now we will specify the constraint status. We have to apply the uh, support conditions. If we check our figure, we can see that at key point 1, we have pin support. At key point 7, we have roller support. It means that here we will be having X, Y and X reactions. 
but only here here we will be having only while here so let us do it we define constraints uh, from pre uh, main menu preprocessor loads define loads apply structural displacement on key points select first key point click okay and then select ux and uy by default the displacement value is 0 okay click okay again click on key points and then select the last support and here click okay and in this case i need only no x ux only uy make sure that it is apply as constant value okay and now you can see the support conditions are defined now to check the uh, list of these constraints that we have applied use the utility menu click on list and then click on loads dof constraints means degree of freedom and then on all key points and here it is on key point 1 we have ux on key point 2 we have uy and then on key point 7 we have only uy it means we have defined it correctly let me save the database now uh, it's time to apply the loading if we see the figure we have loading on key point number 1 3 5 and 7 on number 1 we have 280 on number 1 and number 5 on number 1 and number 5 key points we have 280 kilonewton as we are uh, having consistency in our units so it means we have to enter the value of 280 in the negative y direction for loads defining loads use the main menu preprocessor loads define loads apply and then here click on force moment on key points we have first key point and then we have fifth key point click ok and here select the fy constant value minus 280 click ok first and fifth now on third key node we have load of 210 kilonewton on key points select the key point click ok fy minus 210 ok again we have, we have third loading that is of 360 kilonewton On key points this last one okay in FY direction I have 360 means minus 360 okay now the loads are defined completely let me save the database we have done all these steps now uh, we are going to solve the structure let me minimize this now the preprocessor job is finished <coughs> click on solution and then click on solve and then current ls 
ls means load step as we have only one load step current load step you review the summary you can review the summary if there is any problem click cancel and then do necessary changes click ok now the analysis will be performed the solution is done close close this too the solution is done let me save the DB now uh, I will check the directory file F trust video tutorial and I am looking for extension dot rst and here it is dot rst it is very important that after solution you just get this file because this file contains the results of structural analysis that uh, the ANS is performed remember that uh, if you want if you close this program and you reopen it and you want that the results are loaded then you have to load the results you can read the results by going to J 